travel agents from Bogavishka Salomea and it is based school travel agency. Today we're going to present a video guide about our city, Vilkavishka, situated at the confluence of the Shemana and Vilkoya rivers. It's one of the oldest towns in Sudova region. In historical chronicles, it has been mentioned since the beginning of the 16th century. In 1660, Vilkavishka was granted the Magdeburg rights. We are starting our version right uh, from our dear school. Marta, can you say a few words about it? Dear friends, it is our pleasure to welcome you to Vilkavishka Salome and basic school. It was established as a Catholic gymnasium in 1918. In November 1954, uh, our school was named after one of the most uh, famous Lithuanian poets, Salome Neres. At the moment, there are 530 students and 48 pedagogues there. The aims of our school community is to provide a good education, develop educational programs and improve learning and teaching environment. We have got a lot of extracurricular clubs, a choir and an orchestra. Also, our school is participating in an international project, My Roots Become Our Wings Travel Agency. And we as travel agents have prepared this video guide uh, about Vilkavishkas for you. Going to show you our hometown. Let's go! Here you can see Vilkavishkas municipality building, as well as a monument to the awakening of the Lithuanian nation, writer, publicist, composer, doctor, and author of the Lithuanian anthem. Dr. Vincent Kudirka. It was built in 1998 in the remembrance of the 100th anniversary of his death. It's composed of the poet's bust between two plates, one with the symbol of a bell and another with the words of the national anthem. The Iron Wolf sculpture was built on the 8th of 2011 near the municipality of Lukavishki, like a symbol of the uh, legend of the founding of the city. Well, August Darius Lewinsky has created the Rule 4 metal screws according to his pupils' uh, sketch. It took five months to create a wolf that weighed 430 uh, kilograms like a tractor. In September 2012, the second chapter of the Legion here joined his colleague uh, on the video. Uh, in Ukrainian, Vilkas means wolf and Kishkis means hair. Vilkas means Kishkis is Vilkovishkis! Now we are approaching our city center. Let's go right. Old Market Square during the 19th 20th century had been surrounded by the homes stores and houses of the Jews who were engaged in trade, crafts and banking as well as the town's most active citizens. In 1989, the Central Square was named the Square of Revival and home to Dr. Jonas Vassanakos, a famous Lithuanian activist and proponent of Lithuanian National Revival was built in the central part of the square in 1996. Uh, the author of the monument is the sculptor Antana Zhukauskas. Later, the square was renamed into the square of Jonas Basanavichus. Behind the square you can see the building of the post office. It's quite new. Okay, now let us cross Gedimina Street and go nearer to the cathedral building. is the newest cathedral in Lithuania. In 1620, Stepanos Patsis built the first church in the town of Lukavishkis. The Bikov Church of the Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary was built in 1884. In 1926, Lukavishkis became a diocesan center. During the Second World War, the cathedral was destroyed and in 1954, it was completely demolished. In 1994, a new cathedral was rebuilt. In 1998, it was solemnly consecrated by Bishop Rosajamaitis. Now, let's turn right and go straight until we see a small bridge. The Bridge of Love is well known and popular with people who live in Lukavishkis. It remembers the first half of the 20th century. It was built in 1936 and people used to 
walk to the Pelishkis Jubilee Gymnasium across the In the premises of previous gymnasium, a public library was found. Long time ago, the bridge was wooden. Later, it was reconstructed and made of concrete. There has always been a nice tradition of people who love each other. They come here and fasten a lock as a symbol of their strong love. I think you also have a love bridge in your town, don't you? Sauli, can you tell us what is the building on our right? Here you can see the building of the Pushkin's Municipal Public Library. The building was built in 1887 and it served uh, the barracks uh, for quarantine guards in 1902. Since uh, 1907, there was a gymnasium for boys. In 1918, Jabari Gymnasium was founded here in this building. In 1930, uh, it was named after Dr. Jonas Basinavichus, uh, our most significant figure in the national resonance of Lithuanian at the end of the 19th century. Another famous uh, person, a poet, Solomonieris, uh, also was a student of this gymnasium. And the church on our left has also got its famous history. An Orthodox church was built in 1894 in Bilkavishkis. But has lost all of its passioners and was reorganized into a Catholic church. It was passed to Catholics and was called the Church of Saint Exaltation of the Cross. When Wilkavishkis Kafisha was destroyed in 1944, the previous Orthodox Church remained the only church in Wilkavishkis. And all the saints' relics were bought to this church. As you can see, the church has got a typical structure of Orthodox Church. Now we are turning into Vito the street, leaving the police office over there and an old spirit plant. Let's go home. Let's have a short stop here. On our left, you can see a supermarket and a new bus station that is being built at the moment. Maybe when you come here, it will already be built. Who knows? Now we will turn right and we will pass Lukavishka's Children and Youth Center on our right. The culture center of that is the only cultural center with the whole of 500 seats in our district. And let's cross the bridge of Eucharist. There's a bank on our right and a building of the clinics on our left. We are turning into Myrone Street. We are passing one of our primary school buildings. It is 10 years old today. our video guide as we are approaching our school. We hope you liked it! Goodbye! Goodbye.